Right now, much of the metro is still covered in snow tonight. Right now, travel is difficult in much of Des Moines, especially the side roads. You can see why the DOT camera at Interstate 235 shows that things are still pretty slick out there. KCCI crews were out even before the sun came up with conditions. Bo Bowman was in Winterset and Ames, and TCM Muziga cut off with a man who drove an hour through the night for a medical reason. Amanda Rook is in Des Moines to find out when the side streets will be clear. But first, we are going to start with meteorologist Ann Campolongo, who is going to break it all down for us, Ann. That's right. Yeah, we're uh, checking in on some of those totals that we got from today, all courtesy of uh, the National Weather Service. So some latest reports, uh, if you weren't watching this morning, most of us here in the metro area, pretty much in the bullseye, as we talked about Thursday and Friday, if you're watching last night, all ending up with anywhere between about 8 to 12 inches of snowfall. So about a foot of snow in Ames and Algona, close to that in Ottumwa, Newton, coming in at about 11 and a half inches of snow. And then we'll head over to Pella, where we picked up 9 inches there. A few lower totals on this uh, list here. Knoxville coming in just under five inches of snowfall and just over seven inches up towards Fort Dodge. So a significant snowfall for January 14th. We've got this photo uh, sent in by one of our viewers, Caitlin. So thanks for sending that in. But uh, just a picture perfect winter wonderland looking out over the city here in the Des Moines River. Lots of clear skies out there tonight. It's going to be a cold night tonight, but yesterday's snowfall total coming in here at Des Moines just yesterday's total. So we're not talking the whole event, but just for our Friday, we picked up 9.8 inches here in Des Moines. So that's a new record for the date of January 14th. That beats the old record of 5.7 inches set back all the way in 1930. So we'll have a closer look at uh, the whole storm picture here coming up in just a little bit. We are quiet now that that storm system has pushed down to our south. That'll wreak havoc, havoc on uh, southeastern portions of the state and then eventually uh, the east coast. But we are quiet. Some clouds move in later on tonight, but it's a cold one with the snowpack on the ground. We're dipping below zero later on tonight. A frigid night. We'll talk more about what's expected here as we head into the new work week and how we end out your weekend. We'll talk about how warm or how cold it'll get tomorrow. That's coming up in a little bit, Laura. And thank you so much. Well, here is a live look at the road conditions. You can see the entire, well, a lot of the metro is green, um, but some of it is pink there. That means completely covered. The blue in much of the southwest part of the state means roads are partially covered. And of course, the green means seasonable conditions. Well, right now, a tow ban is in place only in two counties, though. That's Polk and Marshall. And that means if you get in a crash, a tow truck will not come to Polk you out until the ban is lifted. There is still a lot of snow in neighborhoods across the metro. KCCI's Amanda Rooker is live in Des Moines with how long it will take until all those roads are clear. Amanda. Well, if you have to be out on the road tonight, be really careful. There, there is still a lot of snow, especially in those neighborhoods. I'm here in one neighborhood in Des Moines where you know, if you look this way, some of these streets are still pretty untouched. Um, I'll show you just how deep that snow is. I don't have a ruler, but I learned this trick from our meteorologist Ann Campolongo. If you saw last night, she's got a water bottle to show you how deep the snow is. Just look right here. Yeah, so it's like almost to the top of that water bottle. Some areas you still got a foot of snow to drive through. Public Works has been plowing these streets since 7 a.m. this morning. They say it will take about 24 hours to get them totally clear. That means they'll be working until 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, while they're inside those neighborhoods, there is a snow parking restriction in place. That means you cannot park on the street. Instead, you got to park on a driveway or on a snow route since those have already been cleared. A lot of the snow, if you get out of the neighborhood streets, you'll see bare pavement or just a thin layer of snow. But if you're in a neighborhood, there are some dicey road conditions, so be careful. Those last one, two, three, sometimes four blocks are still in the, the residential plowing system that we're still working our way through. We started those at 7 a.m. this morning, and we give ourselves 24 hours to plow all 1,400 miles of that system. That will take about 24 hours, especially with this volume of snow. This is not going to be a quick turnaround. And again, they will be plowing these neighborhood streets all the way until 7 a.m. tomorrow. So if you can, try to stay off the roads. And if you want more information on the snow removal, you can go online to dmsnow.org. Live in Des Moines, Amanda Rooker, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.
Amanda, thank you. Well, the roads west and north of Des Moines were completely covered in snow this morning. KCCI's Bo Bowman shows us what Iowans woke up to in Adele, Winterset and Ames. Early Saturday morning in Adele, roads covered with ice. The fire department and mid-American energy crews working to move downed power lines off of Highway 169 on the north side of town. Mid-American reported up to 1,100 customers in Adel lost power. Most of it was restored by 5 o'clock that morning. Moving south toward Winterset, the roads were just as bad, if not worse. And going north on I-35 toward Ames, many vehicles were left abandoned in the ditch. By mid-morning, the dig out in Ames had already begun after getting 12.6 inches of snow the night before. These two Iowa State students only have a small section of their driveway finished after an hour's worth of shoveling. But all that work is worth it for this young meteorology major who probably enjoyed this storm more than his roommates. Definitely a little bit. Uh, manual labor is still definitely a little tough, but it's still really interesting to see like how my like field of like study is like definitely affecting all aspects of my life and not only my life, but like all my friends. Bo Bowman, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. Another meteorologist. Well, travel was not advised in parts of central Iowa for much of the morning, but some drivers had to take the risk. KCCI's TCM Muzinga spoke with an Ames man who had to drive overnight for a medical reason. Hours after Friday's snowstorm battered central Iowa, it's time to clean up on a dark, early Saturday morning. Snowplows went right to work in the Windsor Heights neighborhood, clearing out more than 10 inches of snow. In some places, travel was not advised, but some drivers took the risk. Jacob Petrie says he drove from Ames to Des Moines overnight. Stayed about 40 or less the entire way here through the interstate and everything. Uh, once I hit Des Moines though, I just kind of had to drop it down to about 25 because I couldn't see anything. He had no choice. No, but why'd you have to come here? Oh, I'm just taking my wife to dialysis. He says he and his wife left the house at 4 a.m. bracing the dangerous roads and also knowing they'd be late. We we're supposed to get here by 520, but uh, took a little bit longer than that. All for his wife's health. But Jacob says if it wasn't for that, he'd stay home, safe, bundle up until the roadways are clear. In Windsor Heights, TC Muzinga, KCCI 8 News, I was news leader. And new tonight, the snow is keeping our first responders busy on the roads. The Iowa State Patrol says this picture speaks a thousand words. Last night near Osceola, two troopers were on the scene of a crash on Interstate 35 when a semi lost control and ran into the back of their patrol car. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Now, in total, the State Patrol responded to 150 crashes from Friday into today and helped more than 400 drivers. From 4 p.m. Friday through 7 this morning, the Polk County Sheriff's Office says deputies responded to nearly 70 snow related issues. This includes cars stuck in the snow and ditches, as well as several crashes. Now, of the crashes, only three people had minor injuries. And here in Des Moines, police are just as busy since noon on Friday until 6 this morning. Des Moines police went out to 56 crashes, four crashes involving minor injuries. Police officers also saw 47 stalled vehicles in that time.